It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Mikola Peter Pale and Mary American Pale Ale coming in at 4.6% ABV. It's in a 500 milliliter can and um, it's quite interesting here. Not sure what's going on, but uh, interesting all the same. Let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Loving these new 500ml cans, we've gone through the whole, we went through craft bottling at 500ml, then we went through craft bottling at 330 We then went through craft cans, or we're still going through craft cans at 330 Now some of the kind of, I'd say, the cream of the crop, if you like, of, of brewing, of the brewing world, they've all kind of gone into 500ml cans, which is good for people like me and you. We get to drink awesome beer and a little bit more of it. Uh, beer in the glass then, nice, slightly hazy coloured ale, good carbonation, three finger white head, nice fluffy white head then, nice amber coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. And yeah, for an American Pale Ale, 4.6% ABV, this is chock full of hops. A sweet grapefruit, so a grapefruit where you've kind of maybe cut it in half, put a bit of sugar on the top and, you know, squeezed it a little bit so the juice has gone up into the sugar, the sugar has gone a little bit wet, you know, that type of thing. You can imagine the scene, imagine the smell. It smells absolutely fantastic. Lemon, mango, citrus, orange, definitely a bit of tangerine in there. Very zesty, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer. Extremely drinkable beer. I've had some really good session beers from McKellar. I've had some of their, uh, I've had a cherry, I think I've had a cherry Berliner Weiss from them. Is it called Itch, Itch something, I-C-H, uh, 500 ml can, uh, red dots with the cherries on, the white can with the red dots. Had that, fabulous, that's a good classic uh, session beer, very kind of nice and cherry sour. Um, this uh, quite very sessionable, very drinkable, uh, and then and then I suppose after that, uh, some of the some of the other beers I've had from McKenna, they kind of range from uh, being quite strong. So produce some nice pale ales, uh, nice session beers, and then stronger beers. But what I'm getting at here is that. I've, in my reviewing days, I've probably drunk more of McKellar's stronger beers than I have uh, the session beers. So it's nice to get something which you can session, you can enjoy, you can get a few cans of and enjoy most definitely with a barbecue. Most definitely with a barbecue. It is so fantastically drinkable. It just slides down juicy, just almost like, I don't know, it's just so refreshing and juicy and I, I, I really like it for that, I like the beer. Flavour wise, yes of course you've got your, your bitterness on the back end, you've got a little bit of sweetness to begin with, but then you've got your nice kind of passion fruit flavours, your mangoes, your citrus, your orange peel, your fleshy blood orange, your, your, yeah, your little dose of pineapple in there. Good carbonation, just mixes things up, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Good lacing on the glass. I want to get some more. It did create a big head on the first pull. And again, this is the beauty of a 500ml, reviewing a 500ml can, is the fact that you can, I can top it up again 
And then, well, you know, when I want to take a nice picture of the beer afterwards, I've got enough beer to top it back up, have a nice picture for the thumbnail of the video, bang, job done. Great, so these, these 500ml cans, not only am I drinking more beer, but for my reviewing purposes, it's a lot more flexible, which is great for me. I won't bore you anymore with the kind of ins and outs of our YouTube channel, but there, there we go. Uh, so yeah, lovely, hazy, American-style pale ale. Really juicy, really fantastic. I, I can't stress enough just how juicy and refreshing this beer is. It's perfect for an American pale ale. 4.6% ABV, few cans, job done, take it down the beach, take it to a barbecue, take it to a friend's house. And the cans, I went to my local bottle shop. Uh, it's about four miles that direction. Um, and I was in my bottle shop, I was looking around for beer to buy, and the fridge was about, you know, it was the other side of the, the shop. But I could see these big yellow cans in the fridge. And that's when I thought to myself, oh, some McKellar. So when I got some out the fridge. So they stand out from a, a, a mile away. The, 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 the design of the cans is fantastic. You know it's McKellar. From start to finish, from the design to the design of the beer, to the smell, to the look, to the taste. It's a wonderful beer. I'm going to rate it. First of all, before I rate it, I want to mention the fact that they've not mentioned what... Um, They've just, they've just said there's oat flakes in here, there's hops and yeast. So they've not mentioned the hops in the beer, which, I mean, it would have been nice to tell you, but, you know, hey-ho. Look at the lace in. And I think the oats, the flaked oats of you have, have created that beautiful lacing in the glass. So, Peter Paler Mary by Mikula. Let's rate it. It's, it's very, very good. I mean, for an American pale ale, it's, it's almost perfect. It is almost perfect. Do you know what I'm gonna say? It's more or less, it's more or less there. I was gonna give it a nine, but the more I think about this beer, the more I think, what other beer would I choose to take to a barbecue if I had to choose something else? You know, if somebody said, you can't have that beer, you gotta choose something else. I'd be gutted, I'd be gutted. So yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.